Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss a GNF example. Okay, so what is the normal form of a GNF? Get back normal form. A variable tends to a single terminal symbol alpha, or a variable tends to alpha followed by any number of, and it goes on. Okay, so it starts with the terminal symbol followed by zero or more variables. Okay, so this is the general format for your GNF. And what is the rule that we have for a GNF conversion here? Uh, whenever you want to convert a grammar into a GNF, the grammar should be in Chomsky normal form structure. Okay, and what is the general format for CNF? Chomsky normal form. For Chomsky normal form, the general format is a variable tends to two variable, or a variable tends to a single terminal symbol. So, what is a variable? A variable is something that is written in this side that has a definition for it. So, S, N, P, N, P dash, V, P, 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 D, E, T, N, V, and P are your variables. Okay. So, now we'll look into each and every production of a grammar and check whether it is in CNF or not. First step is this. Okay. So, S is a variable. S tends to N, P, V, P. N, P, and V, P are a variable. So, a variable tends to two variable is in your CNF structure. It is allowed. So, this production is in this gram. Uh, this production is in GNF format. Now, next it is DET and N. DET is also a variable. N is also a variable. DET N dash. DET is a variable. N dash is also a variable. So, here it is a variable tends to two variable. It is also allowed. And NP dash tends to N and PP. N is a variable, PP is a variable. A variable tends to two variable is allowed. And VP tends to V and P. So, V is a variable, NP is a variable, it is allowed. VP, PP, this is also allowed. And a variable tends to two variable. P is a variable, NP is a variable, so this is also allowed. So, all these grammars, all the productions that we have discussed so far is in GNF. Now, consider here, DET tends to the. The is a terminal symbol. A variable tends to terminal symbol is also allowed. Fine. And DET tends to a. A is also a terminal symbol. So, this is also allowed. And N tends to cat. N tends to dog. B tends to saw. Slept. P tends to in and a. So, everything is this on. Okay. So, everything is in a, G, a CNF structure. Okay, so the entire grammar is either in the format of a variable tends to two variable or a variable into a tends to a single terminal symbol. So everything is in CNF format. Now the task is very simple. We have to take this grammar, convert that into a GNF form. Now we'll see like uh, this is the general format for uh, Griebach normal form and this is the grammar. Now we'll see what all the uh, what all the production rules that are already there in your GNF structure. So, we don't want to disturb them. Okay. A variable tends to a single terminal symbol is allowed. So, all these places, DED tends to the A and N tends to cat dog. Cat is a very, uh, cat is a terminal symbol. Dog is a terminal symbol. So, these things are allowed. And V tends to a very, uh, a V tends to saw slept. P tends to E9 on. So, all this place, okay. All these productions are in GNF format. Now, we have to consider the remaining portion alone. Okay. So, in the remaining portion, we are going to look into the first variable. Okay. So, it is preferable to check like see, consider this example. When I take this production PP. Okay. So, you have this production PP tends to P and NP. And we already know that all your P you, is in terminal symbol. So, what will happen if you substitute P's production instead of P. Okay. See, P has two possible substitutions. Either P can be substituted with in or P can be substituted with on. So, when I substitute P with in or on and this NP will remain as it is. See, this is like your parse tree structure here. When PP is there in your node, this PP will take either this PP can be substituted with P and NP. P and NP. Okay, and this P will take either in or on. So, the final production will be in NP or on NP. Okay, so now what happened when you make a substitution for P? Now, the starting element is in and on. So, it is a terminal symbol followed by a variable. So, which is allowed as per your rules of your GNF. 
your uh, correction rule should start with the terminal followed by zero or more non terminal that is a condition so both starts with in and on in and on is your uh, terminal symbol and that is then followed by a variable which is allowed okay now we have converted p's production pp's production into a gnf structure so this is also done so similarly wherever you are able to make a substitution and convert the grammar we can take those kind of productions see next step what i do i'll take this np's production or you can take it this n dash production n p dash tends to n p p okay so now what all the values n can take here you have n tends to cat or dog so i can replace n with either cat or dog so this forms two productions okay so n p dash tends to when i substitute n as cat your production rule will become this and when i substitute uh, n as dog your production rule will become like this okay in both the cases your first element is a terminal symbol followed by a variable which is allowed as per the general format okay so this is also done now let us consider this production of np tends to det n and det np dash okay now we know that det consists of two terminal symbol det can be substituted with either the or a so what will happen your production will become like this when det is substituted with the your grammar will be like this and uh, your uh, rule will change is as the n or when you substitute det is like you have to go ahead with all possible substitution okay now when det is substituted with a your production rule will like, become like this okay so this is your first production first rule alone and next rule is you have det np dash so for all this also you instead of dt you substitute the followed by np or a followed by np dash okay this is your final production for np dash okay sorry np so np consists of two rules one starts with det n another is det np dash and for det we have two possible substitution so finally you will have four possible uh, production rule for np okay so np tends to the n or a n or the np dash or a np dash okay now similarly look into your s s production s starts with np vp okay and we already have your np in your gnf structure so instead of np substitute all four possible uh, substitution productions for np okay so s tends to when i substitute your uh, np as the n your production rule will become like this the n followed by vp and a uh, n followed by vp i'm just making a substitution for np alone the np dash followed by vp and a uh, np dash followed by vp okay in all the cases the first np is replaced with its production rule followed by this vp okay so what happened here your s production starts with all terminal symbol followed by zero or more non terminal now this is also allowed okay so all easy substitutions right so wherever you are able to make a substitution and convert the grammar into gnf then it is done okay so what we have done so far your s np np dash pp det n v and p are all converted into a chomsky normal form now what is left here your production for vp alone is left now we'll consider this production for vp so vp tends to v np vp pp okay now this is the production for your uh, vp okay so here also you can make a substitution for few places so here it starts with v and v's production has saw or slept both are your terminal symbol so we can directly make a substitution for v instead of v if i substitute it as saw or slept followed by this np as it is it will create two productions okay instead of v i am making a substitution as either saw or slept so it creates two production and this is then followed by vp pp okay now listen carefully here you can have a condition called vp implies vp 
okay if you want i'll uh, shift this production so vp tends to vp pp or saw np or slept np okay so now what happened here is you have a recursion you have this vp tends to vp okay so how much substitution you make for vp that calls itself this is called left recursion right remember the formula for left recursion here whenever left recursion occurs you have this a tends to a alpha slash beta this is your left recursion a variable calls itself in the leftmost position okay so how can you reduce it you create two different production for it okay this can be written as a tends to beta a dash followed by beta and a dash tends to alpha a dash slash alpha so this is the rule formula for converting or reducing your left recursion okay so now look into this grammar what is alpha and what is beta so this vp tends to vp is your recursion and the remaining portion of this like a followed by this alpha right so the remaining portion of this production will be your alpha and beta will be the remaining productions whatever you have okay so now we have to convert that into your we have to make a substitution that is direct substitution you don't need to worry about it anything over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm creating a new production here okay so new production is vp tends to beta a dash so beta portion consists of so np slept np okay this is your beta and we are creating a new variable called a dash now we can create a new variable called vp dash in both the places so this is your beta a dash this is your beta and this is your beta followed by a new variable vp dash which needs to be expanded okay and your production rule is beta a dash followed by beta okay so your beta consists of so np and slept np okay so these are all the grammar for your a okay for your vp we made a substitution it is beta a uh, beta vp dash followed by beta what happened here see the first element of all the production is a terminal symbol followed by zero or more non terminals which is allowed okay zero or more variable which is allowed okay so now vp is converted into a gnf structure and this is not done see here you have created a new variable called vp dash so the production rule for vp dash should also be mentioned here so what is the rule for your uh, a dash a dash is alpha a dash followed by alpha and what is there in your alpha here your alpha consists of pp so it is pp vp dash followed by pp okay so now here this is also a programmer to be reduced to a gnf structure okay this production rule also we have to take and convert that into a gnf structure what is the starting element of your pp here your starting element of this pp here is a variable but as per your general rule the starting variable uh, starting element should be a terminal symbol so what we can do we can take this rule for for your pp and we can make a substitution okay see here your pp is already reduced i'll write the production for pp so it is pp tends to in np and on np okay now this is the grammar production that we have for pp okay and for pp's production it already starts with the terminal symbol so we can directly substitute it here so vp dash tends to instead of pp i am substituting in np followed by this vp dash okay we have two possible substitution for pp one is in np another one is on np on np followed by vp dash and here for pp we can directly make the substitution as in np on np okay so what i am going to do is i have taken this production all wherever you have this pp i'm just going to concentrate only on the starting element the leftmost element since the leftmost element of your uh, general format should be a terminal symbol that's it okay so here instead of pp i substitute its production so your pp's production is in np and on np so i can make a substitution as in np on np followed by vp dash here and instead of pp i substituted as in np on np and what happened here the first element of this place is all your 
terminal symbol which is allowed in case of your g and f okay now look into your grammar dear uh, we already converted as n n p dash v p uh, p p d t n v and p in your gnf format only left out portion we had it was vp and that is also converted into a gnf so this is your pp's production and here you have created a new variable called vp dash and that is also converted into a gnf okay so this is how you have to go ahead with your gnf conversion so the first step is in, G in this gnf conversion is convert the given grammar into cnf and then to gnf okay so a grammar when you want to convert that into a gnf the grammar should be in a cnf structure and remember the formula for your left recursion this is very important okay so wherever you have a left recursion substitute that into the formula then surely you are able to convert that into a gnf format okay thank you